So, minus one that scar, plus one dismember. And yeah. it's a Seven, mirror match. A mirror match. Wow. Wow. Are they? They're playing the same, same main deck. One land is different. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, uh, looks like uh, Trevor Hunt decided to play a Plains. One Plains, yep. One Plains. So, we're already in turn two here. <laughs> Trevor Hunt led with the Delver into a Ponder. Josh Graves only has two land. And Ponder right now on the staff. Now, if I'm Josh Graves, I, I might just counter this Ponder right here. Stops the Delver from flipping. Uh, but he, he chooses not to. Trevor Hunt ponders into Moorland Haunt, Vapor Snag, and uh, a third card. Maybe another ponder. Right? Yeah, that, that, that's another ponder. So he'll definitely keep those. Yeah, he's looking forward to flipping that Delver. Yeah. And he'll draw the Moorland Haunt, keep the two instants on top, and swing for one. Josh Graves is down to 19. Now I have to imagine that... Uh, Yep, plays land. I have to imagine that if Josh is going to be in this game, he was going to want to play a Geist this turn. Oh, yeah. That would be awesome for him. You know, I, it's... Also, kind of, Oh, Mills and him for two. That's nice. That, that's a really heads-up play nice. by Josh Graves. Mills his opponent for two after he ponders. Josh Graves, too, by the way. I just want to point this out. He's playing the Han Solo sleeves. Oh, nice. I appreciate that. Those are those are classic. Those are classic. Those score you points with the ladies too. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. So more than hot for Josh into Geist. Geist, yeah. Called it. Yeah. Not that he really had it. It was just the only card that was going to keep him in the game. Right. And so now we're back to a blind flip off the Delver. Does he hit it? No. No. So Thought Scour doing work for Josh Graves, milling two instants, so it'll power up his opponent's rune she enters, but way more importantly. Uh, stops that Delver from yeah. flipping. Now, now Trevor has a lot of options here. You know, if he has his own Geist, you know, that's that's pretty good. If he has a sword, he that's does. really good too. He, he, he does have a, a Warren piece in his hand. That's the one okay. card I, I saw in his hand. But really, other than blocking and legend ruling, he has no answer. No yeah. answer to Geist. He's just, yeah, he's just going with an Invisible Stalker. Yeah. And so he's probably going to wait till uh, turn five to play that sword. Try to sneak some damage in. It, it looks like it. It looks like uh, he wants to catch his opponent tapped out. And his opponent has a sword. Wow. Yeah. So Josh Graves, Sword of War and Peace, Things go. not looking great here. Josh Graves does not even give his opponent the opportunity to double block. Seems pretty wise when you have a sword in play. I agree. On a hexproof creature. Yeah, and you know he just doesn't have a lot to deal with that. Unsurprisingly. No. I mean, Trevor Hunt can play his own sword, but really he's he's going to lose to the Geist. Uh, Geist yeah, does a ton more I mean, damage. I think that you do need to just play your own sword here. Right. Uh, you know, this, what else do you do? You, you just hope that you can draw enough chump blockers to, and your opponent will, you know, to race. Yeah, yeah to race and. You know, you will be gaining a lot of life off of your own, and they will not be doing a lot of damage with their sword. So, but that you know that requires you draw a lot of chumpers, and right. I just don't foresee that happening. How key was it for Josh Graves to be on the play this game? It seems very key. Huge. So, guys gets equipped, and guys comes in, and he's got a block here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's it's something you hate to do, but Trevor Hunt's plan has to be yeah. throw creatures under the bus every single turn. And yeah, I mean, he, he has four cards in hand, so if, if he takes it, he'll be taking 12 damage. Yeah, that is just way too much. Even though you gain some back, I mean, you need to get ahead of this. Right. Uh, there you go. Yeah, he yeah, he, he, wisely he needs blocks. to get ahead of this and, and hope that his own sword is able to kill Josh before anything too bad happens. Right. Josh is another creature. Oh, revoke oh, divine existence. Revoke. Wow. Rem removing Trevor Hunt's sword from the game and Trevor Hunt from the match, unless he can come up with something. Pretty good right here. Maybe another yeah. sword. Yep, sword would do it. Sword plus land. Instead, this is just going to be a 
It looks thought like he scour? I thought it scour. looks like he does have another sword. But again, you know. Interesting that he thought scour his opponent when both have Morland haunts. Yeah. He needs, a, he needs a chump blocker here. He needs to have something to stop that Geist from He's killing him. Yeah. Oh, it, it looks like Trevor Hunt has a surgical in hand. That's why he's milling his opponent. Uh, surgical doesn't seem very good in this matchup, though. No, it, it doesn't really. You know, it, it's great if you get in a position where you get to randomly get rid of all of their, you know, Geist or something. But right. But that requires you to kill a guy, which, as we see, is pretty difficult it to is. do. It is. It is pretty difficult. So, Surgical targets Mana Leak. Does not hit. Wow, so he's a really good hand. Oh, jeez. Uh, Trevor might just be scooping to these removal spells here. Yeah, I'm not sure how you come back from that. Josh Graves' hand. Vapor Snag, Revoke Existence, Divine Offering, Geist of St. Traft. So, while he doesn't have any more threats, he has two ways to kill swords. And he has a backup Geist, just in yeah. case, and a Vapor Snag. And Trevor can't block this turn, so he is going to take, uh, well, I guess he can block. Yeah, if he blocks, he, he has no way to win the game, yeah. I don't think. Though, you know, the fact that he's going to lose both of his, he has, I, think he has, I think he even has one more sword in his hand. Oh, wow. So he just drew all the swords, but his opponent drew all the uh, removal spells. Yeah. Not much you can do there. Not really. Josh Graves uh, was definitely set up for this. He, he has two revokes and a divine. On the other hand, uh, Trevor Hunt only had one divine as his only way to kill an artifact. So not, not really a surprise that Josh Graves is winning the equipment war here. Let's see. <laughs> Stalker does his thing. Yeah. Josh Graves to 17. Stalker's gonna stalk. So Trevor Hunt with two cards in hand. That means that this Geist attack will hit for ten. Nope. Oh, he has a... Make that five. Same thing. Yep. Vapor snags the Angel, bringing Josh Graves to 16, Trevor Hunt to nine. Still pretty close to lethal next turn. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Sword gets revoked. Josh Graves says go. Josh Graves, though, no white source. So if Trevor does have another sword, it will connect for one turn. Seems pretty strange that uh, Josh Graves didn't divine him. Yeah. Oh, I guess it was a pike metal sword. Okay. I was looking through his list and I was like, I don't see another sword. So taps to Moreland Haunt to play Rune Chanter's Pike, no equip. Not sure what his last card is that would make no, that no, the right no, play. Either. Maybe a Snapcaster? Yeah, that, that, sound, that seems that like it'd be the something. only thing. Oh, now he packs him in. Josh Graves wins the match 2-1, to one, won the Sword War. That's pretty important in this mirror. Yeah, yeah, pro-white plus, uh, plus a Hexproof creature. Yeah. Just too much to deal with usually. And then just the life swings. I mean, it's, right. you know, if you each have five cards in your hand, it's a 10, ten life swing every single turn. 